See, this is the type of shit that I deal with every single day. It's like a reunion of homeless people here. They're all in the park. You know, it's the only, and there, I don't see any woman yet. Yeah, no, I don't see any woman. And I'm here just so I can go to the bathroom because the bathrooms don't open till seven. Yeah, I started to get up at five now instead of four because once I get up, I start drinking and you know, three hours to, to be able to use a bathroom, you know, so I could use it until, you know, well, as long as it's dark out, but it starts getting light about 6.15. So, you know, and I'm running from six to seven, I'm running, you know what I'm saying? Running, stretching, all that. So, you know, I can't, and I come in the park and this type of thing. And so they follow me around. They follow me to the bathroom. They follow me on the bus. Last night, somebody followed me to my spot. That was pretty terrifying, but you know, he had a camera too. That was really even like, I was about ready to go potty at my spot. I just got there. And I was about to party and lay down, and some guy followed me into my spot. And, but this is what I deal with. Every single day, I deal with homeless people, men, I should say, mostly men that bother me. And women, all, all people to me, almost all people are homeless because they don't care about their lives and they don't like themselves. So to me, home was a condition of the heart. You know, home is a, let me, home was a condition of the heart. And... I'm home, so I'm not homeless. I sleep outside. It's a big difference. You know, I have goals. I put my money into I'm Worth It Incorporated, you know, and I put my Army's veterans' uh, benefits, and I'm not entitled to those benefits. I don't feel entitled to anything. You know, if, if God took all my money away and I had no money and the, the Army decided, okay, so they're not going to pay me no more, I would find a way to, you know, I would figure it out. And so right now they've been taking a couple hundred dollars out of my check too, before I got incorporated, they started taking money out because I didn't know I had to report that money for acting because it's not that much. You know, it's like $100 before taxes. So I didn't really think it was that much, but I made a lot of money uh, last year acting. So they take it. So now every time I get an acting job, once I get my check, I got to go down there and report that and I got to show them, you know? So I'm not bragging. I'm not complaining. Maybe I'm bragging, but I'm not complaining. And if anything, I'm bragging on Christ. And, and the point of me bragging is to say, hey, look, you can do anything you want to do, man. Don't look for sympathy. Look for opportunity. Look for a way that you can do things that you don't have to rely on other people so something like this won't happen to you, you know? And, and, qu and quite frankly, this didn't just happen to me, you know? I had a home, I paid my bills, you know? It was a trailer, it was a mobile home, but it was the whole home was mine, I paid it, you know? And so now, you know, what I should have done really is I'm not sh shooting on myself, but I should have been prepared. I should have been, you know, went to college earlier or something, but you know, I know God has me right where I'm supposed to be. And, but the whole point, like I'm trying to say, is just do you and, and, and love yourself and do what you want to do. Don't do what you think other people want you to do or what your parents want you to do because they're not the ones going to live in your body for the rest of your life and look in, your, in the mirror and see your face. And that's going to be you. You have to live with you and your decisions and choices that you make. So I made the choice to leave my mother's house. You know, after I was living with her for two months after the Lord liberated me of my home so I could have everything I want in life. And now here I am almost five years later. In May, it'll be five years. May 21st, the day after my grandma's memorial, um, I, I landed here for good to live in California. So I love you, California. I love you, LA. I love you, Santa Monica. I love all you who are watching in Erie, Colombia, and all my peeps around the world. You are infinite value. Do me a favor. If this is your first time watching my channel, comment below. Tell me how'd you find my channel and what's your name? What's my name, y'all? Liberty Justice with my mind and my money, my money on my mind to show you that you are infinite value. Thank you, champions.